Uh, the other news out of CES that we didn't touch upon, we, we covered just about every retro topic. It looks like fucking trash. Okay, Ian, I was going to ease into it. Uh, the Retron Jr. lets you play all your tiny Game Boy games on your giant HDTV. This comes from Hyperkin. Uh, so what, what this is, is an uh, emulation-based uh, console where you can, uh, it's, it's a cute little cube. It comes with a little controller and it's for a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advanced titles via HDMI out uh, here. And what's interesting about this is that, well, this is, you know, oh, there's also composite out according to this picture here. Oh. That's interesting Ooh. that they included that. But, <laughs> but this is, you know, basically taking the Retron 5 and cutting out all the console tech capability except for the three Game Boy systems. And here you have it. I mean, that's because you can do this on a Retron 5. You know, it's, it's, it's an emulation box that accepts you know, uh, games that you read the ROMs of, right? That's what you're doing here. Uh, and it, it's 720p output. And uh, yeah, I, to me, the question for this is whether or not you think there's a market for something like this. And I do think there is a market for this. I do. I do think there's people that maybe they, they're they fond of just, just Game Boy. Maybe they just like playing the old school uh, Pokemon uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games. And they think, you know, this could be cute to play on a, a big TV. I don't I don't think this is a dead in the water uh, product. Maybe you disagree. I do think, there's, but there's, again, again, this comes down to price. You can't, you can't charge a hundred bucks for this. This has to be $50. For something like this, and you'll probably sell some. That that to me is, is what this market is. You you can't stand the idea of this, obviously. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's ugly. Okay. It's ugly. You don't like the color scheme. You don't like the little gold and black. No, it's dumb looking. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers sort of colors. That's black and yellow. <laughs> this is gold and black. I'm trying to think of it. You don't like the, the you don't like the controller, the four buttons, and the little the Super Nintendo looking controller. Stupid. Um. Actually, the controller is supposed to be fairly decent. It's a it's a, the Hyperkin Scout controller. Is okay, what it is. it's the wireless controller. Um, no, I'm just I. It looks like dog shit. What looks like dog it shit? It looks the, awful. The actual console or the who, idea? Who designed it? I, I think it's cute. It's like a little mini GameCube. There's nothing cute about it. It's awful looking. It hurts my eyes. Um, it, it's sort of the same look of, as the uh the the Retron the the the, the twenty six hundred one kind. I'm not in terms into of the angle on the side. I'm not into the Hyperkin emulation boxes. Okay. Um, anything that they've done that's been at, like the Retron five was just kind of like a mess all around. Uh, I don't think I, I'll have to. We'll. I, I, and here's the thing. We'll have them at the store because people will want these. People will want these. Sure. Um, I I I don't. Depending on the price and like the price that we sell them at, I don't always mind. Hyperkin stuff is like an entry level for people who just need to get the job done. Um, you know, the Retron HD, the Retron HD2. These are all things that, for the price, get the job done. It's like we talked about in that JJ Games episode. Um, there's there is a casual buyer. He says he sees that person leaving. But that's who this market is for. The person who comes in, gets a, a wave of nostalgia, goes, man, I'd love to play Super Mario 3. Hey, do NESs hook up to modern TVs? Yes, they do, but you can get this for... <clears throat> I'm like, they do in a way, but, you know, this Retron HD is, you know, 40 bucks, and it hooks up, boom, 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 plug it in, you're playing, you're good to go. I understand it, but... <clears throat> I don't necessarily see a huge market for this, and I think the people who are looking for something like this are probably people who are looking for better options. Something well, like the analog pocket or the consoleizer. Well, that's going to be a lot like more money though. Right. And then you can't, well, you can play it on TV, but you have to connect it via this. You sort of play it on the controller or the handheld device, but then it's going to the TV still. Um, I'm trying to see reviews. I think the, re the, the, the Retron 77 got decent reviews. I'm trying to find them. Yeah, that one was emulation too. Of course. Uh, it's on, on, on Google, it's at three point nine out of five. That's Google. I'm trying to find. Uh, I'm trying to find an Amazon listing. So, so that you can buy uh, between sixty and seventy dollars. Some places you can get it for under sixty for the Retron seventy seven. So this is probably going to be fifty dollars, just because I think that seventy seven <clears> has <throat> it has like the switches and it, ha it looks like it has more buttons, it has more parts. Yeah, I think this will it. probably be fifty as well. Uh, I think once you get above sixty for something like this, you're not gonna you're not gonna have any buyers. I think it's interesting that they also include a composite. Uh, obviously, they probably did that with the Atari as well because it would make sense. Did they include it that, uh, that with the Atari? Uh, 
would make sense if it was an older uh, older sort of thing. But anyway, I'm just surprised they included it for the for this. That seems unnecessary. But maybe it was, yeah, yeah, maybe that's all in their one little board, their output board, so it's cheaper than to do not to switch it out. Uh, I think it's interesting. I I think there's a market for it. I think there is. There's we'll gonna be see. a lot of Pokemon players and. Uh, are there any hardcore Game Boy players that are, are that don't play anything else? What is have... interesting that I'll point out is I do think it allows uh, for, I think I read somewhere that it allows for link cable, uh, which is neat. You'll be able to treat it kind of like you would like a super, you could hook up one to one TV, one to another TV and do two players on two TVs there. You can buy two of these and it'll basically act as two different Game Boys? That's what I'm saying, yes. You would need two TVs. I missed that. Huh. That's interesting. I'm trying to think, of, that'd be it'd be fun to try it. I guess it'd be kind of weird, right? Yeah, because you can't play multiplayer games with, with, without your own screen. I'm looking to see if I can find it on here. I thought can, I read but, that somewhere. But can you do Faceball 2000? You know, with all, with four TVs, that'd you, be cool. You, you could, you could do it with 16 <laughs> TVs. <clears throat> now someone will try to do that. But then you got to spend a thousand dollars buying these to do that. You got to buy 16 of these to spend a thousand dollars. And Jeremy Parrish is working on like a, a a fancy he's like ironing out all the kinks in like a 16 player like link Device. setup so he can like do multiplayer baseball at conventions. I think he tried that last year or the year before. Creating, creating like a single link to do it without having I, it, piggybacking it. Well, no, you, you do. You, it, it, you have to link a bunch of them together. But I think it, I saw pictures of something online. Anyways, it looked like he was soldering up something special. That's the dream. Baseball 2000 on Game Boy. 16 players. I don't. I think I played it once multiplayer at my cousin's. My cousin had the, had the four player adapter there. I think it was one time I did there. Okay. All right, well... You know what? If this is for you, it's for you. It's for me, Ian. The same way the Xbox Series not, X Xbox Series X is going to be It's not for me. It's okay. It's not for me. Well, you, you'll it's sell fine. them in the store. You'll, you'll turn a profit. It's great. At the store. Okay. 